Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on MLA headers and page numbering in OpenOffice Writer. In a previous tutorial, you created the beginnings of an essay template with margins, font selections, line spacing, and justification. We're going to continue to work on that document, so open it now. If you've lost your file, you can either review Lesson 6 or use the sample file provided in the supplementary materials for this lesson. As a reminder, this tutorial is for MLA formatting. If your school uses APA formatting, you should go back to Lesson 7. The header section of an MLA formatted paper includes a student's last name and a page number. First, we need to get into the header section, which is the one-inch area between the top margin and the edge of the paper. Go to the Insert drop-down menu and scroll down to Header. Check Default. You should now see a small box at the top of your page. This is one of the few occasions that you'll use the Align Right button. So if it isn't visible, go to the thin arrow on the right end of the bottom row of buttons, roll over Visible Buttons, and check Align Right. Place your cursor in the header box. Then click the Align Right button. Type your last name, followed by a blank space. Be sure to leave your cursor in the header box before moving on to the next step. Now go to the Insert drop-down menu, go to Fields, and click on Page Number. Click your cursor somewhere in the main body of the page, outside the header. Now go back to the Visible Buttons menu and uncheck Align Right. Finally, choose the Format drop-down menu and choose Page. Make sure that your number's format is 123. If it isn't, select the correct format and click OK. Choose the File drop-down menu and save your document. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Keep in mind, though, that the header for the title page of an MLA document may be different than other pages, depending on your instructor's preferences, so it's important that you don't skip Lesson 10, where we'll create Page 1 titling information and make any necessary header changes. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial.